Hello, it's me Alexi, and today I'm talking about web development in Rust, full stack. And here's my proof of concept, boilerplate project. It includes frontend with leptos. Look, it's a component with signals. Backend with Axum, which is part of Tower ecosystem and looks like every API server with HTTP roads. ORM like Prisma client Rust and proxy server Sozu. Now it's demo time. First demo will be about Leptos SSR mods. Another demo is about my boilerplate. Leptos has plenty of examples. The server side rendering mods show how it renders on the server, hydrates on the client and then works as a single page application. Home page is going to be without server side render and other two roads will be rendered on the server. SSR property of the road is what important here. The components include create resource signal and its behavior depends on server side rendering mode of the road. Now running in dev mode, we see home page is loading posts on the client, not the server. And go into the post road is loading data from the client by HTTP request to the API. But now reload the page and voila, post is rendered on the server. And because it's hydrated already, I can navigate as client application. Now about my example. The package has two features, SSR and hydrate. It's important to include backend dependencies only for SSR. Feature names are used by Leptos and set in config. Main entry point is for server. And here Axum starts, created from the router. Leptos integrated with Axum through the function to process Leptos roads. Backend application state is plain Axum state where database client can be passed. Also for the release I include compression layer with pre-compression setup. Ok, but why is custom roads handler? I wanted to save something to the database on every render from the server and to provide Prisma client to the context. App is single road component for homepage with click counter from Leptos Axum example and component to show render number. Data accessed by resource signal in API function. You can see use Prisma is like API hook. Let's start this application in development mode by generating Prisma client and starting Leptos in watch mode. Now let's walk through DevOps scripts, clone proxy sources, add target ARM64 in this case, build SOZU release, upload binary and systemd.service file, then generate SOZU config for our site domain, certificates and local port that application will listen. Upload this config to server and create non-root user for proxy. Third bot script is to generate certificates in manual mode. Third sync is to upload them. Site build script is to ensure target in Prisma client, then build Leptos release and compress frontend package files. Two scripts to upload site binary with public folder and SQLite database for convenience. We are left with run scripts. One is to stop previous app, then run new one with no hub. Another one is to enable and start SOZU. Now full process. Bind the server on Hetzner. ARM64 is only available in Falkenstein so far. OK. Selecting minimal server with IP address, SSH key and it's up in seconds. Getting its IP, trying to connect, OK. Building and installing SOZU proxy. Done. Next, getting certificates. Run third bot with DNS challenge. Get TXT record. Enter its value to the DNS settings. Check the record. Continue. Waiting for certificates. 
Yes. And finally, building site release and deploying it. Release build takes some time. Then compression, upload. Before starting, I need to add the server IP to DNS. And now we are running. It's done. Is it? Let's check. Okay, I believe.